Hey there everybody, welcome back to No Man's Sky with the Permadeath No HUD Iron Man Challenge. Now, just a heads up real quick, I happen to have a kid in the background here who is uh, starting to get over being sick. A lot of uh, sinuses decongesting, so you might hear some coughing and hacking in the background. She's perfectly fine, just working her way through it. So here we are, we're working our way this way. Uh, let me see if I can get to my inventory real quick. Yeah, we could use a little bit more of that, I think. Nope. There we go. A little more of this stuff before we move on. I'm hoping that we're going to start heading in the right direction. I think we're going to start heading this way. We're going to start watching the ships a little bit more closely and see if maybe that's what I've been messing up. Heading in that one direction just wasn't working out. And I've said many times in my permadeath runs that... I guess my inventory's full. That doesn't make any sense. Because I've got plenty of phosphorus opening here. Oh, I must have hit some silicone. That's why it would happen. Okay, move it on, move it on. So anyway, we're going to head in this direction and see if we can't find what we're looking for. We're going to watch the ships a little more closely. Because that's what I've always said I would do in permadeath runs. Anyway, moving along. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. Chill out. Oh, she's just going to get really annoying now, isn't she? Because we're at 300. That's probably why. Okay, moving on. So we're heading this way. That was the whole purpose for doing it that way. Alright, let's go. Let's see how well we'll do. Oh, hello there. I could use one of those. There we go. Alright. Oh, we're out. Okay. Make sure we don't go too far with it. All right. So hopefully we'll be able to get something done here. I really have... I'm hoping for the best here. It's nighttime right now, of course. We're going to have to get to a particular level where we can actually see everything. And we'll take another look around. Uh, let's get to the top of this little hill hill thing here. Yeah, already ran out. What do you know? There we go. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Vantage point. Oh, not to mention, of course, it's allergy season, so everybody else is hacking and coughing and sniffing and sneezing and everything else under the sun. Okay. Nothing here. We're going to do this in half hour increments, so I'm doing a little bit of a different uh, video editing here, or recording, if you will, in that I am should be better graphics, less pixelation. Takes up a lot of more room, but it is what it is. Takes lo longer to upload these videos, too, because of that. So my usual, you know... Half a gig to three quarters of a gig files are now closer to five, six, seven gigs. All right, heading away from him. Okay. Haven't seen a ship in a while, have you? I don't see anything. Getting to wonder. There we go. All right. Let's take another close look. Or far look, if you will. I think I hear some ships. Maybe. We'll see. Well, let's see. Not a whole lot to see out there. We got some dead plants. Well, not dead plants, but we've got the specialty plants of the area. Closer look. Alright, we'll grab one of those and get a jetpack a little bit further away. Really not seeing anything, but I'd like to head towards those depressions over there, so we'll see what we can do here. Why 
Flying sideways, yes. Yeah, I already ran out of that charge. That's alright, there's another one right in front of me. Good deal. Ah, uh, this one we'll get a good charge out of. Let's get up to this next area. Should be out any second. There we go. Again, the strangeness of it is that I'm not... I haven't seen any ships in a while. Which is unusual. Usually you see ships by now. Now I'm beginning to wonder whether this isn't an unoccupied planet. Like maybe something changed in the update since the first recording of this video to the last. Oh, great. And of course, now it's going to prove me a liar, right? All right. Up to the next hill. Let's go take a look. That's a distinctive sound. Nope. Went away again. Weird. Something's not quite right here, folks. Now I'm really beginning to wonder. That happened to me once before, a long time ago. And it took me 17 hours to find a ship. Let's get to the top of this little hill here. How are we doing oxygen-wise? We could use some more. See, I don't see anything out there. I really, really don't. Hmm, stars are rotating up from that direction. And where'd our planet go? Straight behind me. All right, time to start taking a closer look around. I've got a feeling we can find something. Now, I had somebody ask in the chat who's seen a couple of the more recent episodes what the purpose is behind this. Basically, this is... Let me start by introducing it. It is called an Iron Man Challenge. The Iron Man Challenge, by definition, is a challenge where you do not head towards your starter ship. You instead head in a random direction. You do not access your starter ship. You do not go near your starter ship. You cannot use that starter ship in any way. Do I hear a ship? Yes, I do. There they are. Okay, let's see where they're going. So you don't access your starter ship, don't use your starter ship, you go nowhere near your starter ship. This one is a little more difficult. Plus, we say we set everything to permadeath extreme. Extreme permadeath modes. Now, you notice they're heading in away from us, but in that direction now. So that is the direction we're going to head. And let's hope we come across something. I'm going to see if I can grab three more of these crystals, because that'll fill up my inventory. What makes this particular run more difficult is the fact that, of course, I'm not using my HUD. Which, now I can't find any buildings. Last one. There we go. Three it is, right? Fifteen each. Okay. We are now full. Uh, now I need to check my shields. We'll use phosphorus there, phosphorus there, phosphorus there. Nope, that was our life support. 
Okay, so we're fully charged up. I probably should have used or been paying closer attention to what I was doing there. So we have a no HUD challenge. On top of the Iron Man challenge. Extreme settings all locked in, can't do a thing. The only thing I gotta do is every time I start up the game to play it again, I have to go back in and turn off my HUD. Because <laughs> it turns on by default. Alright. So again, it turns on by default, and uh, I need to do that every time I get into the game, so... Is what it is. Excuse me, sir. You're in my way. So this is the direction I want to go to. Now let's hope we see some more ships. I want to verify our direction soon. Hmm. More of those crystals. Really, really tempted on emptying out some inventory and taking some up. That's why I keep looking in here and saying, Hmm... <laughs> trying to decide what I need to do. Because these aren't worth... Well, they're worth a pretty good amount. Plus, this is an unknown value. So if we have someone land near us, we could possibly purchase their ship. Alright, daytime. Look at all those crystals. Ugh. Tempting, but I'm going to hold off. Okay. Get a little boost out of the blue flower there. Now, I will be doing a regular permadeath challenge soon. Iron Man challenge soon, just to do regular one with a HUD. But, for now... This is where we're at. How come it looks like I'm heading back towards that planet again? How did that happen? Are we literally heading back the way we came? Did I just mess that up? Because we should be heading in that direction. Yeah, I think I did. Ah. Son of a biscuit eater. Alright. Now that's on me. Probably all noticed that earlier on in the video. So well, there might be something in that direction at some point. It's not the direction we were headed in. And then we're just only going to get ourselves turned around and be crossing ground we've already covered. Here's some more ships. They should be heading in the direction we're going this time. And there they are. Okay, good. So there's our sun. There's that. Get up here. Okay, good. They're heading in the direction I was going. I'm gonna, yeah, I was about to say, they're probably going to head towards the right this time. Are they coming back towards me? They are. They're really, really, really trying to push for me to go in that direction, though. Really, it's decision-making time. Do I continue to follow them? Or do I continue going in that direction? They really are trying to tell me to turn around. I know you don't believe me. I know it's just a theory to you, most of you folks, but I've learned to listen to them for a long time. Uh. See, on my channel, if you go to my channel main page, you're going to find that there's folders in there. Obviously. There's going to be playlists. That's the word I'm looking for. Sorry. And in those playlists, you're going to discover that I have... A bunch of permadeath runs. A bunch of Iron Man challenges. Or impossible missions and stuff like that. So that said... I've done this... More than once. These are the challenges I love the most. Is going on these particular challenges. So... To say the least... I kind of know what I'm talking about. 
I am by no means perfect. I will make mistakes. But... I'm fairly certain about this. More than fairly. Let's see what happens here. So we're 15 minutes in. I have a funny feeling we're not going to find anything this episode. Because I did get turned around at one point. And I'm going to head in this direction for a while until I find something, or the ships tell me a different direction. Got to make sure I didn't break anything. Okay, we're good. What's my charge at? 31. We don't use life support gels. We're using oxygen right now. So hopefully we can get to the top of this next hill before the next set of ships arrives. That one would be great, right there in front of us. Ah, uh, copper. Pretty much the life source on any planet to start with, so you can get some chromatic metal, but... Not today. out. All right, up the hill. Great, we've got some ships showing up right about now. Nope, nothing. Keep hearing that noise in the background. It almost sounds like they're coming and then goes away. Hear it? That sounds like we got one coming. There we go. Hmm. Spider at 6.7 million. It'd be great if somebody would land near me. Okay. There they go. So now that's the planet I was heading towards. Now they're heading to the left. In that direction. Now you see it's different every time. So they're heading in that direction now. That's a good thing. And then straight up. Okay, let's head that way. I've, I've decided that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep my eyes peeled in case I find a crashed ship over here or something. And I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Let's go. Alright. 19 minute mark of this episode and we're, we're there. We're almost closing in on 9 hours. 9 hours of looking for a ship. Yeah, and a couple of you said, hey, you're just, you know, really unlucky. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I think I should have listened. I don't think that's luck at all. That's just trying to do something different and then realizing you're kind of messing it up. But you live, you learn. It's part of it, right? I hope you're all having fun with the latest update, too. That's been actually a really cool update. No Man's Sky has really been getting very popular lately because of it. Um, helpful for those of us who are just starting out, like myself, and trying to make a name for themselves in the community. Got it. Okay. But I am really enjoying the latest update. I've been having a lot of fun looking for Sentinel ships and multi-tools and stuff like that. I think I finally got a couple decent multi-tools, so I'm kind of 
held off on it. I really would like to find a new swing wing ship. Swing wing. I like that. I like that name. Oops. Grab some more of this while we're at it. Until it tells us we're full. Oh, it's not going to tell us, is it? We just have to check. And now we're full. There we go. Ha ha ha. So this way, that's the way we're going. Keep a close eye open, make sure there's not we're not missing a ship that we're walking right past. Let's get up the hill. Feels like it's about time we get some ships showing up again. Alright, what do we got over here? Anything at all. Still nothing so far. But I think... I'm feeling really good about this decision, though. Feeling much better about it. Yeah, let's get up to that ridge. Some more oxygen while I'm running past. There we go. Grab those blue flowers whenever you can, man, because they'll get you a long ways when you have a chance. Let's see where we're at. Terrain manipulator. Let's go ahead and use some of that. Life support. Okay. We definitely need some more oxygen. We're running low. Oh, hang on. Where are they? There you are. Hi, guys. Someone want to land? Some of your ship? No. Ah. Uh. It went out of range. Crud. I don't think we're going to get up there in time to see it. See where they went. Nope. Nope, oh, wait. Nope, they're over that way. They did go out that way, so that's good. Alright, just caught the tail end of one of them. Take a quick look around. Because they're not going to point me in the direction of a crashed ship. Ugh. Pain in the neck. They won't point me in the direction of a crashed ship, but they will point me in the direction of... Civilization, if you will. One of the more major trading posts. Possibly an archive. Possibly a, uh... Again, a larging, larger trading post. They won't point you in the direction of a minor trading post anymore. Now, what do you know? It looks like some... Is that what I think it is? Yeah, it does. Looks like it. Unburied technology. But, while we're here... There we go. Now, our inventory is full. So, that should round us out at a full set. Okay. No use in uh, checking those things out because we are full. Our inventory is full now. Okay. Charge is done with the jetpack. Let's go up to this ridge up here and just get up to the top of it just in case some more ships show up.
There we go. Come on. Up you go. All right. What do we got? As we are coming to the end of this episode. 25 minutes. We got five minutes of counting. Ah, that looks like a much better vantage point. What do you think? I think we should head there. Okay, that was weird. I tried to go up that, and it did it again. It's weird. Wow, this is quite the ridge. Good grief. There we go. And let's take a look. Don't see anything from up here, but we got a nice vantage point from here. This is good. Buildings, anything? No, don't see anything just yet. Go to the next higher, high vantage point just in front of us right there, and we'll check that one out. There we go. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, some of the terrain is starting to build in. Let's see here. Oh, that looks like a... Like a uh, campground area. Oh, no, it's actually a building. It's got even a rotating thing outside. Yeah, not bad. So if we want to, we can head over there. Let's see what we can see from up here, because it looks like it's already nightfall. So maybe we'll head over there and we'll call it. Yep, not seeing much from here. It's a very rough terrain we got here. That one's heading straight at us. Very odd. You don't want to land, do you, buddy? Got some stuff I can sell you. Nope. Okay. Well, worth a shot. Let's head for the building. We'll call our episode there. Ooh. Blue flowers. Okay, that was about useless. Because we hit ourselves on the way down. So, alright. We'll head over there. We're heading more that direction. But we are going to hit this building over here and call it quits for this episode. Now, I always do a full hour of run, but I like to load these up in 30-minute increments. More so especially because now that the episodes are at a higher quality, I'm hoping that uh, hoping for a higher quality. I'm hoping that uh, it'll upload a little quicker that way. Ah. There we go. And here we are. Not a manufacturing facility, but nice little place to hang out nonetheless. So we're going to be heading this direction, towards the hills that way, when we're done. So let's go ahead and call it here. Let's hit a save point. And we'll complete it right there. So thank you for watching this episode. Again, we're going to pick it up in the very next one, and we'll continue on. So we're at right around nine hours now. Nine hours. Let's see if we can find the place to uh, call our own. A nice ship we can call our own, and we're going to go from there. And by all means, please hit that like button, that little thumbs up at the bottom. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, we'll go from there, folks. Again, see you in the next episode. Take care.